Uh, what'd you get, Marley? Oh, well, I have nice questions. Yeah. Yes, you do. No. It's a formal interview. No, what you did just you get? Film what I got. What did you oh. get? I'm looking at the back and I'm like, did you get all these? Because there's like more statues at the back. No, there are other ones you can get. You can I get. think we have that, yeah, we have the Aquaman at work. Oh, nice. Yeah, I sold that the other day. Oh, cool. We need to get one of our special knives. I'll be right back. I used this in, I used this in my unboxing of the Pentel brushes. Yeah. Mine actually used to it. Well, you weren't gonna use it, so. <laughs> you took it anyway. No, I was like, oh, can can I just put it up on my shelf? <laughs> you and... not say yeah, that. yeah, and you're, you're like, like oh, okay. No, you're like, I'm gonna put this up in my room. And I'm like, it's mine though. You're like, oh, it doesn't matter. It's mine. Well, you didn't have room anyway in your room. You leave all your knives like. Let me break your camera. Ta da! Wow, it's big. It looks like he's ice skating. Take the plate out first. Well, we're going to be putting this because we've got Injustice over oh, there, yeah, and then we've got Watch Dogs over there, and then we've got. Hey. Oh wow! Got... <laughs> it's okay. So it's actual, it's actual fabric. Yes, yeah, that's so cool. Too. We have Superman at work too. Ah. Oh, wow, this is so detailed. Jesus Christ! Look at all that. Mm. See the leather straps, the belts. And lots of leather. These bulge. Look at these bulge. <laughs> so big. <laughs> and we need a fan. Yeah, <laughs> so cool. Wow. wow. That's amazing. <laughs> so detailed. Oh, damn. I can understand why they're expensive. Mm. They're big and detailed. Mm. Good big stuff. and detailed. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> Um, have you seen Gone Girl? He, um, you can, you get a shot of his dick in that. Netflix. Yeah. All right, what's the next one? All right, um, can you... I'll put that up. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice. Oh, all right, let's, let's find out what the fuck's in here. I legit have no idea what's in here. Oh, it's, um... It's a mystery box. Mystery box. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, is it a Gundam? I think it is. A mini Gundam. This is cute. Oh. Uh, what is it? Uh, I don't know. It's got a manga. It looks like a um, little unknown Pokemon. Got some cards. Got a little pin. Some DVD. I got sold online. Oh, nice. I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah, I remember I got this. Oh, so cute. That's a cool little goodie box. Do you want to get rid of the box? Yeah, that box, yeah. The big box, that one, probably not. Probably but these little ones. Oh, let, put this in. let me do oh, it. Oh wait, it's sideways. Molly, you're mentally challenged. Molly, you're mentally challenged. Oh shit. Go on in. <gasps> Go on in. Wait, so you can actually take it off? Yeah. You sure? I'm up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <gasps> no! It broke off. It's their fault for having such a flawed design. There we go. Wait. What the hell? I just shoved it in there. Is that how he holds his sword? That's a terrible way to hold his Oh. Let me have a look. Let no, me have a look. Like, it, dude, it's broken. Come on, come, no, let me have a look. Oh. No, sorry, I got a little keychain. Saitama. Saitama. No, that's that's not Saitama. Oh, that's that's Genos. 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 Get your animes right. Ah. That's Saitama. Nice. No, this one's yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just like. Oh, it's his torso. Yeah. Broken. Uh, well, that sucks. That's all right, though. It's not like I'm gonna pick it up and play with it. Mm. Uh, so where do we put Saitama? I don't know. Maybe, maybe um, we'll put uh, Little Nightmares back upstairs, and um, Little Nightmares. Oh yeah, there. And we could put it next to. <gasps> See what I mean? Something just dropped. Oh no, it can come off. It can come off. Oh, oh, oh our... God. I thought it was like broken. 
this way. Maybe we should put this katana downstairs. So many boxes. <laughs> All right. All right. What prints do you got? Show me. Yeah, Samurai Batman. I love this one. Yes. So many cool styles. So many different artists. That is so cool. Two-parter. Two-parter. Nice. Yeah. So excited for oh, yeah, you that movie. This is what a lol is. She's like 14, and in the game you can date her. You'll know this is Ollie. <gasps> yes! No game, no life! Yeah. Love that game. It was free, that. so I was like, why not? And Matt Jordan, what did you get? Show us. Oh, nice. 11. 11. Good old, good old 11. That's so cool. Shout out to Sass Millage. Sass Millage. Annie Aerialist. Kathy, Kathy Y. Nice. Finished. Saga. Saga. Nice. Saga. Nice. Sega. What? No, just Saga. Just Saga. Can't Sega's do. Sega's the company. Sega's the, yeah, the company. Oh, sweet. Bookmark. Oh, Joker bookmark. That's so cool. Matt Combs. Oh, yeah, Batman on the other Batman. side. Oh, that's so cool. Batman, Joker. Got this little article. And this card. Mm -hmm. Richard Wizard. Richard Wizard. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. That's that's nice. And then this is an art book. Oh, okay. So I got that. I have that print. I got that print last year. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. I got this invincible sketch. Invincible sketch from the beautiful Chumba. A very good friend. Good friend. <laughs> A very close good friend, Chumba. No, awesome. It's like three D. And it's other hats. Look at the hats. Yes. Cool yeah. hats. Mm -hmm. I got this Daredevil. Daredevil, nice, that's cool. And I got this that's cool. original print by Warwick Wong. Warwick Wong, nice, cool. Which is double sided. Double sided. Got your gal, Wonder Woman there. Wonder Woman, nice. Oh yeah, that book that I just showed you is by Mary Jessica Jessica. Mary Jessica Jessica. And here's what I bought. Cool. Cute little gal. Mm. And you got the same one as Molly. Much like Molly. Nice. Uh, another Warwick Wonder Wong original. Warwick. And then he is Stranger Things. Eleven. Again. Eleven. The art of Austin. Mm. Sweet. And that's it. Nice. Well, good haul, guys. Good haul. Sweet. Hey guys, I'm back from Supernova. I. I'm probably I probably look like shit right now and uh, my my bed's a mess. I don't care about that right now because I've got so much shit to show you. Ah. Oh my god guys, I had so much fun at Supernova. This is, motivates me more and more just to go and try and get a table at, at these pop culture events myself. So, I'm going to try and organize a, a table at Oz Comic Con, um, that's my goal. So I'm gonna try, do my best, cause right now I've got a part-time job, I can afford prints, and uh, there's nothing stopping me now. So that's my goal, guys. I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna try and get a table at Oz Comic Con. All right, now let's go look through these. Oh my God, I got so much stuff, it's so cool. Um, let's put these over here. First of all, I bought these hats. Ah, oh, these hats are so adorable. These are from Cami Fox? Cami Fox? Cami Fox? I'm not quite sure. Anyways, they are so- I saw these hats and I just instantly went a beeline for them. Actually, my friend pointed out these hats. I just went a beeline for- for these two. Now this one... Move my camera up a bit. How cute are the bunnies? How cute are the bunny ears? My friend thinks they're pig ears, but I, I think they're bunny ears. They're cute bunny ears. I'm gonna wear this out in public all the time and embarrass my friends so much. I love them. I love them. And I love this too. I love this. I love this one. It's just so cool. I love it. And they, this looks like, you know, um, teeth. 
and it's, I just, I love it so much. It's so pointy and so pink. I love pink. Pink's my favorite color, uh, if you didn't know. No, it looks so radical and cool. I love these. Oh, I'm gonna buy more stuff from these people. Can we fuck? That's that card there. Yeah, so cool. They have, they also do uh, t-shirts as well and um, jumpers and, oh, they also, <laughs> oh my God, guys, I thought I lost it. <laughs> I went searching for this for yonks all over my living room, but no, we eventually found it. It's a protective mask, um, like the ones they use in Tokyo all the time, you know, to stop catching the flu. It's so cool. Um, I've always wanted to go to Tokyo for, for like ages now, and um, I'm gonna be wearing this all the time now. Ah, ripped one of my earrings out. Hey guys, do I look pretty? <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. I love this. Oh, so cute. So cute. Uh, no, I love this. It's so cool and it matches my hat perfectly. When I go to Tokyo, I'm going to be wearing something like this so they can see my nice big toothy smile. Anyway, I love this merchandise so much. I love it. And um, this is from Bento Box. Harajuku Imports. I think that's how you say it. I just feel like I want to wear this naturally, you know, just out in Melbourne or something, you know? Just to stop getting a cold. Because literally, when you go up to the city, anything you touch, you know, you could get a cold from. No, I just think this looks so cute and I just, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Ah, oh, that is a little bit more freeing. But yeah, these are so cool. I love these hats so much. I'm gonna go and look up on their website and buy more of their shit because this is so adorable. All right, I might wear this. I'm gonna wear this. <laughs> I have also have some uh, prints. Oh, actually, before I do that, I got a book. I got a giant, massive. I think I guess you can call it a compendium, um, but not really. Um, it's the, it's the Avatar Last Airbender, the North and South. But this is, this is a comic book of what happened after the series, and I'm so glad they're still making this. Um, it's a wonderful series, and I, I just, it continues on the Avatar legacy. If you don't know, Avatar is one of my favorite TV shows. I've been watching it since I was a kid, and I've, I've been obsessed with them since. If I do get a table at Oz Comic Con, expect a lot of Avatar prints. I can always get them cheap at Supernova, so yeah, I can't wait to read this. The first print I have here today is by Warwick Wong. This guy, uh, he's such a nice person, he's such an incredible artist. I, he remembers me all the time when I come and visit him at cons, and he's, he's all the way up in Sydney, so he's coming from Sydney down to Melbourne, and it's just, that is dedication for you, and I just hope that I get to go and, um, go to American cons and stuff, and just have that, that dedication for me as well, but, yeah, this is a, this is an original print of Batman Metal. I gotta read the comic, but I just love his art style, it's so dark and the, the paint splatters everywhere. I've already got one of his um, prints. It's a, I'll show you later, but it's it's an Aquaman. It's, a, it's an original Aquaman as well. Nothing but originals from him because his stuff is just so amazing. I can't remember what I where I got these prints from. I'm sure I'll find out um, later on. I'll leave a link in the description below of who it is. But um, I got these ones. This is a, um, a Stranger Things X-Men print. So they have like um, Eleven as Dark Phoenix. They have good old Bob as Colossus and so on and so forth. It just looks so cool and I, I love it. I love it so much. Next one is a print of Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Mine completely dwarfs over this one because is that the proper saying? I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, I did a Miles Morales print and it's just, this is just amazing. I just, such insane work. I love this, yeah. It's such a very, very cinematic shot. And this, this was supposed to be for my sister. This is a Black Panther print. I love it. It's, it's so cool. I might even keep it myself. My sister wanted this, so I got it. First time my sister's been to a, a Comic Con and I think she enjoyed herself. But I'm gonna hang these up later. Now this, this is a character from a game, and a soon-to-be anime, called Persona 5. One of the characters in the game is an artist. Yeah, it's just so cool, I love his print. Um, look up Persona 5, it's a, it's a really cool game. Oh my goodness, and this, 
This is from one of my favorite animes. It's called Violet Evergarden. It's an anime where she, um, this girl loses both her arms in the war. When the war's over, she gets these steampunky robot arms as replacements. Uh, she tries to get a job as a auto memory store, which is which is where they just type letters for other people. She's trying to figure out what love is. It's it, it's so sad her journey, and she has to meet all these other people who are like depressed and sick and she just needs to type letters for them and it's just so it's such a beautiful story yeah there there it is yeah oh, there's her hands um, oh so beautiful I love it I love it so much now, this one's from red unit ink I'll zoom in there I saw, I saw these little cards of Studio Ghibli and the Star Wars mash, that's Rogue One. It's called Floating Castle, Castle in the Sky. I'm not quite sure. And um, this one is The Last Jedi with Kylo Ren and Rey and uh, Spirited Away mashed together. It's so cool. I love it, this style so much. It's such a, such a cool idea and so simple as well. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. This inspira this gave me inspiration to do my bending scrolls, and I remember saving these images when I saw them on the net. And now I'm so glad I got I got them now to hang them up. This is so beautiful. Each one is just so beautiful. Hopefully, I'll get to do something similar when I get my booth. <laughs> last item, last item. This item, I think I went a little bit too far. This item, I don't know. <laughs> Let's get rid of the the price tag so my my family can't find out how much it costs. Um, I got this This mask it's made out of resin and, and fake moss. It's so beautiful I, I just saw it. I remember seeing these from last year not being able to for uh, to afford to buy them I'm just so glad I got one. It's it's um, made out of resin, but it looks so real like, it looks like wood and um, yeah, it just it reminds me of the, the the swamp bender from Avatar. Again, being a huge Avatar fan, the swamp bender would wear this in his giant form. His giant form would wear a mask that's very much like this. It's just it reminded me of the the swamp bender so much, and I'm so happy I got it. I'll take the hat off. <laughs> hey guys. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, my face doesn't exactly fit it, but I still love it all the same. Still, still really, really cool. Cool, and I'll, I'll cherish it always. It's just so beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I'm just so, I'm so glad I got this in the end. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm so glad I, I showed all of these guys, and I'm so glad I was able to afford to go to Supernova. Uh, this year in Artist Alley, it's so it's so friendly and it's such a great community. I, there's no words to describe how how wholesome and how how much like home it is. It's just uh, it's completely in my element, and I'm it just makes me so determined to grab a table for Oz Comic Con next year. And um, I heard that they're, um, they're trying to go for more local uh, people, which is a plus for me. But I'm so excited. Um, keep drawing, keep creating, guys. I hope you had fun at um, Supernova. And I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Sorry about the bad camera quality. I'm poor AF and have to contend to this camera right now. Nonetheless, I had a blast. Hope you did too. If you liked what you saw here today, um, please go check out my other social medias. There's always something different in each one. And if you're feeling generous, please donate to my PayPal. I would super appreciate that. See you at Oz Comic Con and always keep drawing. Bye bye.